Hello guys and welcome to season 3 episode 11 of Tic Tac Go. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time today. We continually have a returning champion who has won 19 games now. And his total is $713,562. But somebody really wants to stop him like nothing. Steve, who is Kyle's Hershon's opponent? Kyle Hershon's opponent hails from the state of Hawaii, and he is Matthew Vicky. That's what's up. Welcome, 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 Matthew. I'm ready. And is I'm Kyle ready to be a giant killer? And is Kyle ready? Yeah. All right. Well, let's not waste any time. And incidentally, guys, my hand is slowly getting better, so hopefully I'll be back controlling the board in about three weeks. Alright, let's reveal the board and see the nine categories and they are superheroes, we have the jumping category, 50 states, who am I? Movies, the secret category, choose that category, will double everything that's in the jackpot. The price is right, bonus category is a three part question, answer all three parts, you'll get that box in another turn immediately and July current events. Okay, Kyle Hershon playing your 20th game. Where would you like to start? I'd like the 50 states. Going with the 50 states. And we're going to get that camera going on this one. Let me get that camera here. Can you see me, uh, Kyle? Uh, yes. Alright, you see this, uh, a state right here. Yep. I'll read you information about it. The Fred Bear Museum in Gainesville is a tribute to the accomplishments of Fred Bear, a promoter of proper wildlife management and the founder of Bear Archery Company. Now, what U.S. state is this associated with? Florida. Correct. We have two thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. Alright, uh, Matthew, where would you like to begin? Hey, why not? Let's keep the trend going. 50 states. Going 50 states. Okay. Take a look at this one. I got my questions all upside down here. Here we go. You see this state, uh, Matthew? Yeah, I do. Okay. At Stonyfield Farm in London Dairy, you can learn how you yogurt how yogurt is made. How yogurt is made, that's the question. You can learn how yogurt is made. From cow to an incubator to cougar. They give away samples and you can buy some motion dice. Get it? Motion dice. What's the state this is associated with? That would be New Hampshire. Correct. Good job. We have $4,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Kyle. The price is wrong, bitch. Okay, a two-part question worth $3,000. And we'll give you the time uh, shortly, although I don't think you're going to need it. Here's the uh, question. Okay. First, what is the game that you let this go down a pegboard with different money amounts at the bottom? Is it A, Plinko, that's P-L-N-K-O, B, Plunko, P-L-O-N-K-O, C, Planko, P-L-A-N-K-O, or D, Plunko, P-L-U-N-K-O? And then the second question... In order to win a showdown, your bid must be closest to the actual retail price without going what? Here's the extra time to think about that. All 
right, Kyle, which part you want to answer first? I like the first one. Okay, what is the game that you let the disc go down a pegboard with different money amounts at the bottom? Plinko. And for the record, spell it? P-L-I-N-K-O. Good. And the second question. In order to win a showdown, you must bid, your bid must be closest to the actual retail price. With, excuse me, let me read that again. In order to win a sh showdown, your bid must be closest to the actual retail price without going what, Kyle? Over. That's correct. $7,000 in the pot, we shuffle. All right, Matthew, where would you like to go? Well, I'm afraid I have to take The Price is Right to block. Okay, The Price is Right to block your question. <clears throat> Which of the following men did not host the syndicated version of The Price is Right? The syndicated version. Is it A, Doug Davison, B, Dennis James, C, Peter Tamarkin, or D, Tom Kennedy? Oh, wow. Five Peter seconds. Tamarkin? What did you say? Peter Tamarkin. Correct! Good job! He also the pressure look, obviously. Uh, $9,000 in the pile, we shuffle. All right, Kyle. Movies. All right, for the block, your question on the movies is this. Based on a novel by Michael Crichton, this 1993 sci-fi thriller starred Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. What is this movie? Is it A, Journey to the Center of the Earth, B, Spear, C, Jurassic Park, or D, Independence Day? It's the Jurassic Park. That's correct. Good job. Yes. $11,000 in the pot. We shuffle it. <laughs> okay, Matthew. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm feeling lucky, Rodney. Even though there's a double, even though he has a chance at a double win, I'm feeling lucky. Secret category. All right. All right. You're gonna take a chance on the secret category. Now get this question right on the secret category. You'll get that block, and we'll double the pot from eleven thousand dollars to twenty-two thousand dollars. Okay. Here's your question, Matthew. How many colored squares are there on a standard Rubik's Cube? Colored squares. That's all the different colors you mean. Yeah, how many colored squares are there on a standard Rubik's Cube? Five seconds. Standard, standard colors, you said? Yeah, how many colored squares are there on a standard Rubik's Cube, and you have five seconds. Uh, 30. Not 30. You see there's nine colored squares on each side of the cube. Uh, so, it will be nine times six. That's 54. 54. 54 yeah. All right, $11,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right. All right, Kyle, which category you want? 50 states. For the win. Get this question right on the 50 states. It'll be tic-tac-doe. $13,000 and your winnings will go up to $726,562 and it'll be a 20th win. Take a look at this state. You see this state, Kyle? Uh, yes I do. Alright, for tic-tac-doe and all that money, New Milford's worst disaster struck in 1902 when the main business section centered on Bank Street was almost completely leveled by the great fire in this state. For tic-tac-doe and another $13,000, bringing your winnings to $726,562, name the state. Connecticut! Tic-tac-doe! <laughs> Nicely done, Kyle. That's another $13,000. That takes your winnings to $726,562. And and you're going to go ahead and uh, play against that dragon shortly. Well, Matthew, you did the best you could do, sir. You had a good time anyway? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll have you back. Don't worry about that. 
Alright, Kyle, if you're ready to go, let's go ahead and play that Pizza Dragon game! Yeah, Dragon! Alright, Kyle, you know the rules of this game. Nine numbers on the board, and the object is to get $10,000 or more, or get the tick and attack without seeing this dragon. Match to do that, and Steve, what prizes will Kyle be in for, sir? Well, we're going to give away this bunch of goodies. We have two off-road motorbikes, a trip rock polko, a lazy graphic tranquil moment, seven-piece living room group, a spa, queen bed sleep set. That's a prize package worth $25,498. And Kyle, there's more. Get the tick and attack on any of your picks. We give you a $45,000 bonus. Do it on the first two picks. It'll be a $90,000 bonus and you have a shot at a brand spanking new car. Let's go up that board, Steve, please. Thank you. If you're ready to go, Kyle, start picking. I would like number three. Let's see what's behind number three. It's $5,000. You know your seven. options. What's your uh, guess? Seven. seven. Let's see what's in seven. There's a tag. Find the ticket, we give you a $45,000 bonus. Six. Does he do it with six? There's $4,000, $9,000. Four. The last pick, does he do it with four? You did it, good job, $10,500. Well, we did not get the jackpot that time, all right, but that's okay, you still win the prize package. Where's that dragon at? Probably one. Eight. You take one, eight, let's see. Two. Two. One, eight, two, anyone? Nobody said five, let's see. Well, the tick was behind five, the dragon was behind number one, so that's another $35,998, Kyle. And your previous total was $726,562. We're going to add all that together, and that gives you a total of... $762,560. And we're going to take a quick commercial break, guys, to pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do another game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Don't go away. Thank you, guys. back with more Tic Tac Dome and your host Rock. Well, Kyle's still winning. He has $762,560 and now he's playing against this, this opponent, Steve. Yeah, she um, is from Baltimore, Maryland and she is my mom, the most beautiful mother ever, Miss Christine Kabrowski. Welcome, 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 Christine. How you doing? I'm doing splendid. How are you, Rodney? I'm doing splendid, too. Same here. You ready to play tic-tac-doe? I'm ready to play tic-tac-doe and have some fun. Cool. Let's see what the new nine subjects are. We have the month of July. This is going to be our last time using it because we're going to go to August the next episode. We have opponent's choice, nicknames, music, easy geography, jumping category, TV shows, the $10,000 question, and video games. And Kyle's playing his 21st game. Go ahead. Easy geography. Going to be a two-part question worth $3,000, and we give you the extra, extra time. All right, first. What is the capital of Russia? Is it A, Warsaw, B, Berlin, C, Madrid, or D, Moscow. And the second Moscow. question. Okay, you got that right, but wait, let me. Sorry, um, I didn't know it was two parter. You're right, it's a two parter because you got to sit in the box. But that's correct, Moscow is right. Now, wait on this one. In okay. uh, which country would you find the cities of Adelaide, Warwick, and Brisbane? Is it A, is it A Australia, B, England, C, Ireland? And D, Iceland. Here's the time to think about that one. Did I just hear it incorrect? Yeah. 
All right, here's your question again. You got the first one right. Now here's your question to the second one. In which country would you find the cities of Adelaide, Warwick, and Brisbane? Is it A, Australia, B, England, C, Ireland, or D, Iceland? Australia. That's correct. Good job. We have 3,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, Christine. Um, let's try music, please. Go on music. Okay, your question on music is this. Which of the following songs was a hit for Chubby Checker back in 1960? Is it A, Hello Dolly, B, Tossing and Turning, C, The Twist, or D, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay? The Twist. That's correct. Good job. $5,000 in the pot. We shuffle. And your selection, Kyle. Um, let's go with music. Okay, second time in the category. Your question on music is this. On which Beatles LP would you find the song Mean Mr. Mustard? Is it A, Let It Be, B, Magical Mystery Tour, C, The White Album, or D, Abbey Road? Abbey Road. That's correct. Good job. $7,000 in the pot. We shuffle it. Christine. July, please. All right, for the block, your question. What is the flower for the month of July? Is it A, the morning glory, B, the gardenia, C, the lark, the larkspur, or D, the hollyhock? Uh, what was the first one? Morning glory. It's the larkspur. Say that again. The lark spur. That's the third one. The lark spur is the third one. Yes, I would like that one. C. You want lark spur? And that's correct. Good job. Nine thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle it. It's pink and like a dark, like a dark pink. Really? Sorry, you ever had that flower before, Christine? I actually. Well, this house belonged to my grandmother, and when she died, it. It was given to me, and there were some flowers that she had that were growing. And around this time, they bloomed, so it kind of like it's kind of emotional for me. I mean, I know it's kind of sad, but I mean, it, they they usually come out around that time. Oh um, wow! I mean, she's been gone for a lot of years. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh wow! Well, this that question was a good question for you then. Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead, Kyle. Which uh, category? TV shows. For the block, your question on the TV show is this. <coughs> Premiering in 2009, which popular supernatural TV show is based on a novel series penned by L.J. Smith? Is it A, The Vampire Diaries, B, True Blood, C, The Walking Dead, or D, Supernatural? Vampire Diaries. That's correct. Good job. $11,000 in the pot. We shuffle. <laughs> All right, Christine. Oh, my. Um, hmm. I, I think I'm just going to go to music. Going for music, okay. Your question on the music. Whom is Marshall Mathers better known as? Is it A, Ice Cube, B, Jay-Z, C, Eminem, or D, Snoop Dogg? Uh... I'm going to say Snoop Dogg. No. Snoop Dogg is Calvin Broaddus. Mm. It's Eminem. 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 Yeah. $11,000 mm. 11, still in the pot. We shuffle. The Slim Shady. All right. Uh, Kyle? <laughs> video games. For the win. Get this question right on video games. It'll be your 21st win. Another $13,000, and I will give you a total of... $775,560. Okay. Your question. What video game was about an ancient warrior out to destroy aliens that had to come to invade his land? Is it A, y Riger the Ancient Warrior, B, Samson, C, The Mighty Tor, or D, Zorro? Zorro? I'm sorry, that's wrong. No, it's not Zorro. The answer is Riger, the Ancient Warrior. 
Okay, that was a break for Christine. We shuffle. All right, Christine, your selection. Nicknames for the block. Going to nickname. The first time in the category, I'm going to read you um, a nickname. You have to tell me what the real name is. Okay. The nickname is Chris Carson. What is it? No, excuse me. Let me read P. Kit Carson. Kit Carson is the nickname. What is his real name? Is it A. Christopher, B. Alexander, C. Nicholas, or D. Zachary? Nicholas. I'm sorry, that's wrong. It's Christopher. Mm. Christopher. We shuffle. Yeah, we're the answer. <laughs> Uh. Yep. Okay, your selection, Kyle. Bonus choice. Oh for, for the win, same situation, Kyle. It'll be thirteen thousand dollars, and your wins will go up to seven hundred seventy-five thousand five hundred sixty dollars. And you get to choose the category for him, Christine. Okay. Do you want him to answer a question on U.S. states or science? Um. Science, I don't going, know. Going science, okay? This is for Tic Tac Doe and another $13,000, Kyle, bringing your winnings to $775,560. What does FM stand for? Oh, shit. Um, Five seconds. I know. It has to do something with radio. Time's up. Frequency modulation. That's it. Wow. It's frequency modulation. Yep. Damn. All right. $11,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Damn, damn, damn. All right. Where to, Christine? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my. <Whoa. laughs> Let's go with... Um, Hmm. Let's go with easy geography. Going with easy geography, okay. The question on the easy geography is this. Lincoln is the capital of which state? Is it A, Kansas, B, Maine, C, New Hampshire, or D, Nebraska? Um, hmm. Five seconds. I'm going to say Nebraska. Nebraska is correct. Good job. We have $13,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Kyle. <laughs> oh, man. Music. Ah! <laughs> you want to go for that block? Music. All right, your question on the music, Kyle, is this. Singing to great acclaim at the major opera houses of Europe, Enrico Caruso was what type of singer? Is it A, was he a baritone, B, a tenor, C, a counter tenor, or D, a bass? I'll say a tenor. Tenor is correct. Good job. We have $15,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Oh, boy. All right, Christine. Oh, God. Uh, music for the block. All right, Christine. Now, if you get this question right on music, we're going to have a tie game. And you'll play on your second game with the pot at $17,000, okay? Yes. Here's your question. Which of the following, which of the following Chuck Berry hit songs was released first? Was released first. Is it A, Maybelline, B, Rock and Roll Music, C, Roll Over Beethoven, or D, Johnny B. Good? Roll over Beethoven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Uh, it's A. Johnny Be Good. No, it's not Johnny Be Good. Uh, I know this one. Go ahead, Gary. It's actually Maybelline. It is Maybelline. Yeah, very good. Uh, we shuffle. Maybelline, I know mascara. <laughs> yep. Uh, ah, fuck, video games. Going video oh. games, Kyle. Now, if you get this question right, on video games, it looks like a two-way win for you. We don't pay you extra for that, but get it right. On video games, it'll be $17,000, and your wins will be at $779,560, okay? Yep. Here's the question. 
What car gang had a gang of car... Let me repeat that again. What car gang had a gang of car driving thieves looting a town only to be followed by the one person the townspeople could rely on saving them? Is it A, Street Fighter 2, B, Formula 1 Grand Prix Smash Up Derby, C, Street Fighter, or D, ra Race and Crash? Oh, man. I thought it was Grand Theft Auto. What were the, what were the choices again? You have eight seconds. Is it A, Street Fighter 2, B, Formula 1 Grand Prix Smash Up Derby, C, Street Fighter, or D, Race and Crash? I'll say Street Fighter. I'm sorry you're wrong. Oh, God. It's race and crash. Race oh, and crash. We shuffle. I was thinking My. Crazy Taxi. I, I was know. thinking Grand Theft Auto. Oh, God. Your question, your selection, Christine. Oh. A pony's choice. All right, this will be for a tie game. And Kyle, you get to pick the category for her. Oh, boy. Do you want her to answer a question on actresses or numbers? Actresses. You want to give her a question on actresses? This is for a tie game, uh, Christine, and we'll go and play another game with the pot at $17,000 if you're right. Mm -hmm. What actress was a regular on both Dynasty and TJ Hooker at the same time? Heather Locklear. We have a tie game! That makes the jackpot $17,000, and we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll have nine two new categories on the board. We'll be right back after this. I should have given her one of the numbers. <laughs> and we are back with more Tic Tac Dope and your host, Ross. Give me one second, because I'm going to spit my gum out, because that's so rude of me. All right, anyway, we're back, and we have $17,000 in the pot right now, and it's going to build up from there. We're going to do our second game between uh, Christine and Kyle. Get my camera straight. There we go. And let's see the, no the new nine categories, and they are. We have candies, the bonus category, take a letter, Bradley or Brothers, summer fun, opponent's choice, comic books, the $10,000 question, and NBA. Go ahead, or Kyle, select. Summer fun. A two-part question worth $3,000. We will give you the time. And this category is about the summer, as you know. Here we go. First question, is this a true or false? Okay? Is this statement true or false? More than 200 million people visit a beach in the United States during 2013. Is that true or false? And the second question, what is the slogan of Smokey the Bear who reminds campers during the summer to practice campfire safety? Is it A, always leave a place better than you found it? B, only you can prevent wildfires? C, just do it? Or D, be prepared for anything? Here's the time to think about those. Alright, Kyle, which uh, category, uh, excuse me, which part do you want to answer first? Uh, I'm going to answer the second one. Okay. What is the slogan of Smokey the Bear who reminds campers during the summer to, to practice camp, campfire safety? Uh, only you can prevent wildfires. That's correct. And tr this is a true or false. More than 200 million people visited a beach in the United States during 2000. In 13, is that statement true or false? False? I'm sorry. It's true. Oh. It's true. Okay, we shuffle. Oh, Christine. One more remark and you're gone, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Christine. Mm -mm. Let's do summer fun. Okay, gonna try summer fun. Two-part question, as you know. Got to get both of them right. Here's your question. According to the Outdoor Foundation, the two most popular outdoor activities for children are running and what? Is it A, biking, 
B. Rollerblading, C. Skateboarding, or D. Snowboarding? And the second question, Earth has five oceans. Which of the following is not an ocean? Is it A, Indian Ocean, B, the European Ocean, C, the Pacific Ocean, or D, the Atlantic Ocean? Here's the time to think about that, Christine. All right, Christine, which part you want to answer first? Um, the first one. Okay, according to the Outdoor Foundation, the two most popular outdoor activities for children are running and what? Is it A, biking, B, rollerblading, C, skateboarding, or D, snowboarding? Biking. Very good. And, uh, for, the, and for the center box, Earth has five oceans. Which of the following is not an ocean? Is it A, the Indian Ocean, B, the European Ocean, C, the Pacific Ocean, or D, the Atlantic Ocean? European. Very good. You got the box. We have $20,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Kyle. Bonus. Okay. Going for the bonus category. And this is, this is for an extra uh, turn. With the, with the box, okay? Here's your bonus category question. I need three of the five countries that share a border with France. Germany. That's one. Uh, Belgium. That's two. Italy. You got all three of them. Good job. Yes. And the other two, when you said Spain, well, I'll list them in order. It's Spain, Belgium, Switzerland, Germany and Italy. Those are the five. You have twenty two thousand dollars in the pot, we shuffle. All right. You get another turn, Kyle. Bonus. Alright. Get this one right and we're gonna give you another turn. Again. Here's your question. Now, I need three of the top ten best game show host of all time according to the top10s.com website I need three of the top ten best game show hosts of all time Bob Barker that's number one on the list Pat Sajak no not in the top ten believe it or not it's not Pat really? Sajak no no Richard, Richard Dawson wow Richard Dawson is number four. That's a good one. Alex Trebek? Alex Trebek is number two. Trebek was good. Wow, okay. Vanna White. Vanna White is not on this list, no. <laughs> yeah. Vanna White's not a game show host. Well, she's a hostess. Still! Yeah. Well, let me read Whatever. the ten of them. Uh, let me read ten of them. Number ten is Bill Cullen. Number nine is Gene Rayburn. Number eight is Howard Mandel. Number seven is Jeff Probst. Number six is Regis Philbin. Number five is Bing Magnuson. I guess I don't know who that is. Number four is Richard Dawson. Number three, believe it or not, is Ann Robinson. No, number two is Alex Trebek. And the number one is Bob Barker. Bob Barker. We shuffle. Damn. Okay, your uh, selection, Christine. Hmm. Um. Let's do. Let's do candies. Going candies. Okay, your question on candies, Christine, is this: Which of these characters was never manufactured for sale as a Pez head? Is it? Is it A. Johnny Cash? B, The Incredible Hulk, or C, Spider-Man? Johnny Cash. Very good! $24,000 in a pile, we shuffle. Oh, All right, Kyle. Bradley or Brothers? All right, for the block, your question on the Bradley or Brothers is this, Kyle. Which company made operation? Is it Milton Bradley or Parker Brothers? Um... Milton Bradley. Correct. Yes. $26,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All 
All right, Christine. Oh, boy. Oh, neat. The $10,000 question. All right, all right, Christine. Now, get this $10,000 question correctly. This will make the pot $36,000. That's one year for every $1,000 a year for each year I was born, okay? Here's the question. In the farmer in the dell, what stands alone? The cheese. Put $10,000 in the pot! Uh oh That is correct! $36,000 in the pot, we shuffle! Oh, boy. All right, Kyle. NBA. For the block, your question on the NBA is this. Which four-time NBA champion Started off as a swimmer. Who? LeBron James? I'm sorry, you're wrong. Oh, boy. The answer is Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. $36,000 in the pot, we shuffle. All right, Christine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, NBA for the win. Okay, Christine. Get this question right on the NBA. You'll be the new champion with $38,000, and you'll have played the Beat the Dragon game, okay? Okay. Here's your question. Who was NBA Rookie of the Year in 2003 through 2004? Oh, man. I have no clue. I'm just gonna say Michael Jordan. No, I'm sorry, Kristen. Oh, now, uh, now is the time for LeBron James. I got. It. I was just gonna say. I was say hoping you would say LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, now is the time for LeBron James. Guys, taking it. She does not watch basketball. Right, right. Quiet, audience. Quiet. All right, we shuffle. Come on, give me something good. Yes. All right, Kyle. Ooh, $10,000. <laughs> All right, Kyle, get this question right on the $10,000 question. <laughs> It'll be f a block, and the pot will be at $46,000, okay? Okay. Here's your question. Where does Madeline try to commit suicide in Hitchcock's movie, Vertigo? Oh. Five seconds. Five seconds. Buzz me. I don't know. You don't know it. Yeah. All right. The answer is the oh, Golden boy. Gate Bridge. Oh. The Golden Gate Bridge. We still have thirty-six thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Christine. Oh my God. The ten thousand dollar question, please. All right, Christine. You get this question right on the $10,000 question, it'll be Tic Tac Doe, $46,000, and you'll be the new champion. Okay. Here's your question. Okay. What does a herpetologist study? Oh, herpetologist. Five seconds. Uh, I, I don't know. Skin, I don't know. Not skin, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that's a dermatologist. A, herpetolo uh, a herpetologist man. studies reptiles. Uh, reptiles? Okay. Reptiles. Okay, Kyle, I've been saying we shuffle. All right, getting crazy. Uh, All right, Kyle. Oh, God. Fuck, FBI. All right, for the block, your question on the NBA, Kyle. Who is the only Israel... Let me try that again. Who is the only Israeli NBA player? Oh, shit. Oh. Caspi. Full name, please. I'm, I'm, I'm Omri Caspi. That's correct. Yes. $38,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Christine. Let's go with uh, summer summer fun, please. All right, summer fun. Your question on the summer fun, Christine. 
on what kind of days should you use sunscreen to protect your skin from UV rays, that's the harmful rays from the sun. Is it A, sunny summer days, B, sunny winter days, C, cloudy days, or D, all of the above? I'm going to say all of the above. Very good! You thought you was going to get tricked with that question. Very good, Chris Kane. It is all of the above. Alright, we have $40,000 in the pot. Kyle, which category are you going to now? Bradley or Brothers? Alright, Kyle, get this question right on Bradley or Brothers. It'll be another tie game, and we'll do another game with the pot at $42,000. Here's your question, Kyle. Quiet audience. Which company made High Hole Cherio? Is it Milton Bradley or Parker Brothers? Um, I think that's Parker Brothers. I'm sorry, you're wrong. It's oh, Milton. No. It's Milton no. Bradley. Milton Bradley. Wow. Okay. Forty thousand dollars in the pot. Let's shuffle. All right, Christine. Uh, bonus question. All right, Christine. Normally, it will give you an extra turn, but if you get this bonus question correctly, it'll be tic tac toe. $42,000 and you'll be the new champion, okay? Here's your question. I need three of the four human chambers of the heart. I need three of the four human chambers of the heart. Oh, God. Um. Oh. Uh, Five seconds. I am not good at that. Um. Oh, my God. Sorry, Christine. Right, you want the aorta? Nope. No, in the aorta is not a chamber. Left atrium, right atrium, left and right. Left ventricle, right ventricle. Yep, yep, those are all of them. We shuffle. Mm. Mm. Want something good, something good. All right, Kyle. Some are fun. All right, this will be for another tie game between y'all. Get this right, uh, Kyle, and we'll do another game with y'all with the pot at 42 thousand dollars okay how's time looking well we're gonna go as fast as we can the buzzer didn't go off yet so if he gets this right we're doing another game after this here we go all right seen on all sunscreen bottles what does the term SPF stands for is it a skin pollution factor B sun protection factor C sun production factor Sun production fraction or D skin pr skin preservation facilitator. Sun protection factor. We have another tie game. Oh shit! The pot is at forty-two thousand dollars, and we're gonna try to break this tie right after this. A dunk go away. Mm. <laughs> what up? All right, we're back with Tic Tac Dell guys, and we have another tie game between these guys at $42,000. Now, Steve stepped away for a moment, so I'll handle the game board until he comes back. I need to put my keyboard in. Give me a second. I'm assuming this is going to be the last game anyway, so we'll see what happens. Possibly. Is he back? Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and do this. Excuse me, y'all uh, YouTubers. Okay, there we go. Alright, um, so we have $42,000 in the pot. Here are the next nine new categories. And here we go. Alright, we have, um, Books of the Bible, Opponent's Choice, 1970s, WWE, Mixed Animals, Secret Category, Fast Food, Bonus Category, and Toys and Games. I want to point out that in the Secret Category, if you choose that category and you're correct, we'll double everything that's in the jackpot, okay? All right, um, Kyle, where would you like to begin? I'd like Mixed Animals. Okay, it's going to be a two-part question. 
worth three thousand dollars and there goes the buzzer guy so whoever wins this game is gonna go ahead and play the beat the dragon game in the next episode okay take a look at the chat screen okay. I'll handle that part That's the first one, and here's the second one. Yep. Alright. Alright, you see those two um, uh, mixed animals? Yep. Alright, here's your question. According to a 2006 study, there are only 2,000 to 3,000 of these in the wild, and they are native to China. Name that first mixed animal and the second one. This mixed animal is a primate that lives in Africa. Name it. Here's the extra time to think about those. Alright, Kyle, which part you want to answer first? I'll answer the first one. Go ahead. A panda. And the second one? A gorilla. Good job. We have forty-five thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Christine. Let's go with nineteen seventies, please. Go with the nineteen seventies. Your question on the nineteen seventies is this: It's April twenty-second, nineteen seventy, and I'm listening to an American woman. Today is a very special day for us tree huggers. Today is the first celebration of what? Is it A, Granola Day, B, Earth Day, C, Plastics Day, or D, Family Farm Day? Earth Day. Very good. We have $47,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Kyle. Bonus. Going with the bonus category. This will give you another turn, Kyle, if you're correct. Okay, now we talked about the uh, 10 best game shows in the world, okay? Game show hosts in the world, right? I want, for your center box, or excuse me, for that box in an extra turn, give me three of the 10 worst game show hosts in the world. Oh, boy. Louis Anderson. That's, he's number two on that list. Five, five seconds. Drew Carey. He's number nine. Um, John Davidson. He's number eight. You got it. $49,000. I'll go down the, the list. We have Michael Berger. He's 10th. Drew Carey is nine. John Davidson is eight. Cedric the Entertainer is seven. Vernon K is six. Vernie K is the European host. Number five is Arsenio Hall. Number four is Jim Caldwell. Number three is Patrick, Patrick Wayne, another Tic Tac Doe host. Number two is Louis Anderson. And the number one worst game show host is Richard Karn. Really? Richard Karn? Yeah, Richard Karn, according to the top uh, ten website. Okay, we all shuffle. Alright, all right, shuffle. Alright, Kyle. Bonus. Going for the bonus category again. All right. You must get this three-part question right. Get it right, and then you got another turn coming to you. And it'll be $51,000 in the pot. What are the names of the, th of the three band members from Nirvana? The names of the three band members from Nirvana. David Grawl. That's one. Kurt Cobain. That's two. Five uh, seconds. I forgot his first name, but his last name is Novoselic. Need a full name. Three seconds. Oh, Crest. Good job. Yes. We have. Holy shit. We have fifty-one thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. And you get another turn, Kyle. Secret. 
Oh boy, shit. <laughs> well, Kyle, I'm gonna tell you something right now, Kyle. You answered this question correctly in the secret category. This will be the second highest jackpot we ever had for the secret category. It'll be tic-tac-doe, $102,000 in cash, and when we add everything up, your winnings will be then, let me get that math, mental math going, $864,560, okay? And we'll do the Beat the Dragon game in the next episode. Here's your Beat the Category question. What are AC Milan, Ajax, and Real Madrid are? Soccer teams! Tic-Tac-Doe! Yes! You have won $102,000, Kyle! That is the second highest jackpot we ever had on Tic-Tac-Doe. Wow. That was very close to the record. The record is $107,000. Who, who made that one? Um, Tim McClellan. Oh, okay. So you have $864,560 in cash and prizes, and uh, you'll play the Beat the Dragon game in the next show, okay? Christine, right. you gave it a hell of a run, uh, my dear. Yeah, it was fun. Good luck, Kyle, against the dragon. Yeah. Thank you. But you're not going home empty-handed, Christine, because you did play in two tie games, so we give you five five thousand dollars for that. All right, that's great. And uh, that that concludes today's episode. Did everybody have a good time? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is Rodney One Two Seven Nine signing off. Saying, be safe. Be careful, and Kyle will play the Beat the Dragon game in the next episode. So long, everybody. Thank you, Kyle.